In this video tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to boot your games faster and smoother on your jailbroken PlayStation 5. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Dexic Pro guys. Today, I'm going to be showcasing you an amazing new feature that significantly enhances your overall performance of the PlayStation 5 system. This option is designed to optimize your gaming experience, delivering faster loading times and smoother gameplay. By boosting the system's efficiency, it ensures that your installed games load seamlessly without hiccups and run like a dream. In addition to these enhancements, this feature also incorporates advanced frame drop prevention, which means you can enjoy your favorite titles without disruptions or lag, even during intense gaming sessions. As we look toward the feature, there is even more to be excited about with the arrival of the new ETA Hen, which is an innovative tool to jailbreak your PlayStation 5, opening the door to a range of customizations and possibilities that take your console to the next level. Ok, go to Settings, Network, Settings, Enable Connect to the Internet, Set up Internet Connection, Connect to your Wi-Fi router, Hit on Options, Advanced settings, DNS settings, switch it to manual and from primary DNS, set this IP address 62.210.38.117, hit on done and ok and let it connect. Now go to Settings, User's Guide, User's Guide again, and wait. Click on UMTX and wait till the cache is completely loaded. Click on Jailbreak and wait. Click on ETA Hand to jailbreak your PlayStation 5. Once done, hit Options to close it. Ok, so far so good. Now it's time to run the game and boost the loading speed. For this video tutorial, I've chosen to open Burnout Paradise Remastered. So I fire it up and immediately minimize it because it has to be running in the background for this task. Then I go to Settings, Debug Settings, Utilities and enable the pause case of option. Hit OK to continue. Return to the dashboard and maximize the game running in the background. By enabling the pause case of option in Utilities, my jailbroken PlayStation 5 starts to load Burnout Paradise Remastered faster and smoother. This is how you can boost the loading and performance of all of your installed games on your jailbroken PlayStation 5.
Remember, you need to just disable this option when you're done playing. Before closing the game, you should minimize it. Go back to settings. Debug settings. Utilities and turn off case stuff to resume. Then return to the dashboard. Maximize the game to load and from there it's safe to close or exit the game. Now let me show you what happens if you enable case stuff before running the game. So I go to settings, debug settings, utilities, and enable case stuff. When I return to the dashboard and fire up the game, there it is guys, can start the game or app. If you enable case stuff before running the game, you won't be able to open the game, let alone play it. But if you run the game first and then enable the case stuff option, you can enjoy faster and smoother performance. That's the key guys. And all of this happens thanks to the new ETA hand version 2.1b guys. And that's the end of this video tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Subscribe to Dextech Pro YouTube channel. channel.